Well, they were very limited. Uh, Grand Turk, the bulk where the civil service was. In South Caicos, you had the commissioner. You had, uh, I'll name them, some people might have heard. You had Mr. Mr. Butt, Malcolm, who became the commissioner. When I got there, uh, he was he was the government officer. He didn't have the title yet. Then uh, two other English people came in before he was promoted as commissioner. You had Ms. Bassett. She took care of, she was a cashier responsible for the government savings bank. Mr. Stanley Brooks, who later on became commissioner of Providenciales as well as South Caicos and Sorkey. Um, he was the accountant. Uh, you had uh, Miss Iris. She was what? Iris Williams, uh, Reverend Clear mother. She was in charge of the post office. You had Austin Thomas, who was deceased. He was the customs officer. I was the messenger. My job was to open the office, close it, run errands, deliver the telegrams, deliver the uh, government mail when it came in from Grand Turk. Um, I had the good fortune in 19... An Englishman came down in 1968 to look at the entire customer service, to separate it from the Treasury, set up a customer service by its, on its own, Mr. King. He recommended a number of, he recommended a couple of us to go be trained in Trinidad. I was chosen. I'm the first Turks and Caicos Islander who was trained in Trinidad in 1969 from January to the end of June. I did a 23 weeks customs and excise course. When I came back, John Robinson, who later became customs or collector of customs, he came. The program was being sponsored by the United Nations Development Program. So it, only, it ran for a certain couple of years. A number of custom officers were in there, and then it was, it was finished. Um, I was promoted. I, came, I started coming to Providenciales in the late 60s. Um, it could have been 67, 68. Uh, you might have heard about Lou Winery. Lou Winery was a guy who started the inter-island air services. He was going down to Guyana on a seaplane, and he had some problems. He stopped in South Caicos, and he never went any further. Um, I say that to say this, that we landed in Salas Point in Tuttle Cove before it was opened up on a seaplane, me and him and Commissioner Ben Booth. Um, so... Um, there was no air service. He started that then. Fritz and those started uh, an air service, Caicos Airways. Um, Emery Rocker, you might have heard the name of Emery Rocker. Emery was a pilot. Um, he worked with Fritz and those. Um, and then things just developed from one thing uh, to the other. So I, uh, I was promoted as the district commissioner. Of, I can't, as I said, I started coming to Provo in the late 60s. Albert Grant was here as a uh, police officer, a couple of police to look after customs and immigration and police. Then after he left, Stanley Williams came. But things really started booming, you know. And when Stanley Williams left at the end of 72, I came here in seven, and, and, and 1st of January 73 and officially opened up the customs office. The office was my home as well, a small little building on the airport road which uh, later the, the courts took it over and expanded it. And I would say after that, um, 73, 10 years later, I was the commissioner of Providenciales. And I became commissioner in March of 83. January of 90, I was assistant chief secretary. Um, I went to Grand Turk, worked in the Chief Secretary's office, came back as office manager for the Tourist Board for five, for five and a half years. Um, they had upgraded the post as Deputy Chief Secretary for Provincial, there's no more commissioner. And then they changed it to Permanent Secretary for Providenciales Affairs. Kingsley Bean came here. I came back from the Tourist Board to be his deputy and to have the title of protocol officer. Um, 
And I traveled throughout the various islands as a customs officer. I used to go into North Caicos when they were building the Prospect of Whitby Hotel. I was going into Pine Key when they were building the Meridian Club there. So I've seen it all in that regard. I retired uh, 19, in 2011 after working for 46 years.